Welcome back at 612 the Bakersfield Condors hosting the big semifinal matchup this Friday against San Diego and joining us is to talk about the playoffs is the voice of the Condors Ryan Holt. Good morning Ryan. Good morning Mike. Fresh off a, a big weekend in Vegas, now back at home. Uh, we've been talking about this a little bit. The Condors against Henderson, 7-3 and three on the season. Amazing. The Condors against San Diego, started off with those three losses, but then in the last five, we're 3-2 and two against them. Is this thing yeah, going to go three games? <laughs> well, well, we'll find out this week, I guess. But, yeah, it's been a, a tight series all season long. Uh, I think San Diego caught the Condors early on this year when Bakersfield wasn't 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, our training camp was only basically a couple of days, and San Diego had been around uh, for about a month. So um, we're ready for uh, playoff hockey this week. It's going to be a fun series. It always is with San Diego. Um, the last time we played them in the playoffs, uh, I think four games out of the six went to overtime. Mm -hmm. There was a two-overtime game. There was a four-overtime game. So you might get uh, more than the price of one uh, here this weekend. What effect? is it going to have that all three games are here unlike other series in previous in other years where you kind of split them up uh, sort of between the two cities a, a huge advantage or a little advantage well I, I think it's an advantage but also too uh, it's a real point of pride and I've said this a couple of times but it's a point of pride for our organization uh, that we're playing in our own building with fans in California. We're the only team doing that San Diego moved to Irvine Ontario moved to El Segundo San Jose's playing at a practice rink the Condors are playing in their own building, and, and it's a credit to uh, the arena staff um, at ASM Global. It's the city, and it's the Condors and the Oilers organization making this happen. So first and foremost, that's our that's our point of pride. And then secondly, uh, to be in your own bed every night, uh, I mean, that's just you know what you're looking for. So um, we're looking forward to you know two, maybe three games here this week, and then we'll see what what Henderson does the following week and, and see if uh, if we can advance and, and be on home ice or be in Henderson, and, and we'll see what happens. You know, you mentioned that about being able to play in front of fans here, and if we had to go to San Diego into their practice facility, there wouldn't be fans. In fact, I think that says something because the last time they were here, the San Diego fans that showed up actually mentioned to me, boy, I hope you guys get home ice so that we can actually come and watch this game in person. Well, we've uh, put a, an, an area code or a zip code uh, blocker on, on <laughs> AXS.com. Uh, so anything from, from down in uh, Southern California, you're not going to be able to – no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, um, no. But, yeah. no, no, no. Go ahead and <laughs> do should. that. Do that. That'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, Vegas, a couple of years ago, uh, made sure that, you know, you couldn't buy a ticket in certain sections uh, if you were wearing a, a non – uh, Golden Knights jersey so maybe we can do that too but uh, no we're excited anytime we get fans in the building whether it is home or road uh, it makes it a great atmosphere we were in Vegas this past week they had over 2,000 fans in the building um, it felt like a road game it felt like playoffs and that's what we want and that's what develops hockey players um, playing in front of an empty building in a practice rink I don't think would serve anyone uh, here moving forward so uh, we're looking forward to hosting games with fans and a raucous crowd. Very good, and we're running out of time, but I got to mention, I got to ask you this right now: What wins championships in hockey? Is it goaltending or offense? Uh, I always start with goaltending, and thankfully, the Condors have uh, one of the best in the business in Stuart Skinner. Uh, Twenty wins this year, led the league, and um, starts from the back end out. And Condors were fourth in goals against this year, so um, you can always rely on your defense. I think more than more than your offense, especially this time of year. So uh, we'll look forward to to Stu having some big oh, yeah. starts and hopefully a couple wins this weekend. You know, if you, if you can't get in, we've got to remind everyone, you can see the game right here on Channel 23, Friday night, puck drop at 6. We've got you covered here, just in case those San Diego fans with the zip code <laughs> slip in and steal some of those tickets right there. Ryan Holt, Voice of the Condors, can't wait to see you on Friday night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Mike.